see the beautiful things from our village. Bertie, do you will always be welcome here. Oh, it's you, Lord Omenov. Oh, it's a great place. The best forge in Tim. Oh, it's a great pleasure to see you. The best. Oh, it's a great pleasure to. My dear cousin, come closer and tell me what brings you... Uh... I wanted to inform you of our progress made in the attempt to discover a cure. As you advised, I followed the leads shared by our allies, none of which led anywhere. However, they both pointed in the same direction, towards a sort of god that the natives worship. They call him En Onmil Frichtemann the god of many faces. He is very powerful and protects the island. How can you be sure that it's not some sort of myth? Even a superstition? I saw it with my own eyes take shape during a ritual. It is possible that the Malachor is the expression of its vengeance. You are referring to the secret we unearthed. The entire continent is paying today for the errors of our grandparents. It is a terrifying perspective. But if it were true, he must also be able to help us heal. Princess, could you shed some light on this being? Is it possible to meet him? 
all the Donegada know him. He is the strength, the spirit of Tyr Fredi. You were looking for a demon or a remedy from plants, so I did not think of him. But yes, he is very powerful and as old as our world. He could surely heal your sickness. But it is not simple to meet him. Impossible, I would think. Though it is not my place to judge, you need to earn the trust of Glendan, the elder of the council. Ask him for his help. He lives in the village of Dorchad Genedu. It is in the heart of our island, at the entrance to our most sacred lands. Thank you for your help, Princess. I will not forget the numerous services you have provided for us. And thank you, dear cousin, for everything. Good day, my lord. Disarde. I'm the emissary of the congregation on Tierfredi. And cousin to the governor. I know exactly who you are. Enchanted. I am Admiral Cabral. One of my noughts accompanies you from time to time, doesn't he? He must still be angry I've set him ashore. But I doubt that you've come here to discuss affectations. What can I do for you? I've explored many ruins on this island, ruins that after careful scrutiny were built by the congregation. In one of them, we found a journal that made reference to your guild. This document, as are the buildings, date much further back than the arrival of the Bridge Alliance a decade ago. These discoveries raise a good many questions, questions that my cousin would like you to answer. I understand. All the same, we are in a difficult situation. We are bound by the pact. I could eventually overlook these engagements if you would perform a service. Commander Fernando, who holds the port of San Mateus, has problems with certain members of Teleme. The bishop that accompanies you on occasion could without a doubt tell you more. I won't hesitate to speak to him about it. Solve these problems, and I will reconsider the validity of the pact. I will answer your questions. Anything else? I need to be going. Until we meet again, Admiral.
Have you considered my proposition? It is a very good idea. But alas, I have other problems to resolve first. I understand. Come and find me when you are ready. I had a meeting with Admiral Cabral concerning what we found in those ruins. She said she was bound by a pact that kept her from answering questions on the subject. The Nords are nothing more than mercenaries of the oceans. I suppose that she wants something in exchange. Effectively. She told me that her men posted at San Mateus met with some problems, and she advised me to speak to you. Does that make sense? I believe I see what the Admiral is speaking about. Or rather, who? A few of our zealous brothers are overcome by their faith. You already witnessed it for yourself at San Mateus. They look with a wary eye at all those who do not swear faith to Teleme, and refuse to express their faith openly. It is possible they have decided to target the Norts. We will need to speak with those on Teleme lands, and of course seek out the Bishop Domitius. I'll see you later, Father. Take care, my child.
do it. Hello, my name is De Sade. I'm the legate of the merchant congregation. May I enter? Good day, legate De Sade. No, this building is closed to Renaixe. I am Siora, daughter of Vladne, daughter of Meb. My mother, the Mal of the Red Spears, was a member of the council. All here remember, and the Vorst Tirse. She was a courageous Mal, but you are not yet Mal in her stead, and you do not carry her seal. I am sorry, Siora. I cannot allow you to enter. I beg your pardon. I did not know. If I cannot enter, perhaps you could tell the Elder of the Council that I request an audience. Glendon cannot speak with you, Legate. Times are difficult, and his time is precious. He only accepts to meet the members of the Council or their representatives. How can I prove that I am the representative of one of them? If you are a trusted friend of a Council member, he will give you his seal, and we would know it. I will then be glad to allow you to enter. You would be the first Renaixe to obtain such an honor. I will return later. If you have a seal, you will be welcome. If not, you are wasting your time and mine. Blood. Tell me, I would uh, anything else. I must leave you. On all Manawi, do you need something? I've never heard you talk about your father. He was the Donat. What happened to him? He was killed. My mother, anything else? I must leave you. Hello, sir. You are from the congregation, are you not? Indeed. De Sade. Your admiral has sent me here. Pleasure. You may call me Fernando. I am the port commander here. What might I do for you? 
Your admiral informed me that you've been having problems with a few citizens of Teleme. What more can you tell me? Problems, huh? We're up to our necks and sinking with problems. Yeah, I even received threats to my own person. One of those high and mighty long robes dared walk upon my docks with talk of burning me at the stake. Burning me? Then two of my men up and disappeared. And I do not believe in coincidence. I wanted to ask for help from the Mother Cardinal, but she did not answer my requests for an audience. The games of politics are not my forte, and investigations even less so. Find my men. I implore you. More questions? Thanks. I've got everything I need. The Norts like to be secretive, just like us. Guilds always are. But that does not make them heretics or poisonous. Now, these priests are exaggerating. We should talk to some other sailors at the port. If some of their comrades have also disappeared, they may be able to give us some information. Good day. I'm looking for several sailors, some noughts that disappeared a few days ago. Sorry, that doesn't ring any bells. But I did hear talk like everyone else on the port, but that's all. You should ask the mage inquisitors who have taken up lodgings here of late. They must have certainly seen something. We see them everywhere, and they spend their time spying on all that moves, especially eyeing all that the noughts are up to. Ah, and what do these mage inquisitors look like? They wear a very peculiar symbol. We cannot question all the inquisitors roaming around the island. Good day. I'm looking for two men, noughts, that went missing a few days ago. Do you know anything about them? Why? As a matter of fact, I do. Three or four days ago, I was at the tavern having a conversation with a sailor, a nice fellow. He was telling these stories. He was drinking hard. He went outside for a moment to... you can imagine. And well, he never came back. He wasn't that drunk to have passed out. If it were that, we would have found him. No. Something happened to him. That's a fact. But I would be at a loss to tell you what. If one of the sailors disappeared as he came out of the tavern, that is where we should go. If we find Inquisitors there, they'll certainly know more than the ones we see here.
We're approaching the tavern. If we're discreet, we should be able to eavesdrop on a conversation. You again. Why am I not surprised to see you implicated in this story of surveillance? I have no idea what you're talking about. A witness told me that you and others of your order seem to be spying on all comings and goings in the port. Two noughts were captured not long ago. You had to have seen something. You are mistaken, my son. You've been misinformed. One of my companions is an eminent member of the church. How will he react to your initiatives? An eminent member? Really? You truly do not know with whom you are speaking. Your curiosity is going to cost you. <laughs> Aloysius fled as soon as he could. He's not exactly courageous. Let's search these men. They may have some interesting documents. So they're keeping the noughts in the prisons of the coin. Entering this place will not be an easy feat. Can I get you anything? No, thank you. I'm fine. Can I get... No, thank you. For the eyes, ladies and gentlemen, and it's free. Come and see me as soon as you have made your choice. You won't be disappointed. Of that, I can assure you. Come on. Have a nice day, sir. It's blocked.
Greetings. Quartermaster Herbert. Decide. Legate of the... Nice to meet you, your ex... What can I do for... That will be all, Quartermaster. Thank you. Locked.
Halt! You have no authority to go any further. Do not forget that there is only one song that can make us change our minds, Greenblood. Played with golden notes. You said it. Or songs of steel. They also open doors. And if I gave you this, so that you might go and have a little fun? In that case, I could certainly look the other way for a while, but be discreet. Thank you. Thank you for getting us out of there. Those Inquisitors are completely mad. They tortured us. They wanted us to admit to all manner of horrors. Stories of some demonic cult and curses of Malachor. I was of the firm belief that they were going to kill us. But you must make haste. They are planning some sort of wickedness. They spoke of a great purification. And after that, they did this to us. It doesn't bode well, not at all. I heard them talking about their headquarters near the palace. Maybe you'll learn something there of interest. Thank you again for freeing us. We'll be able to make it back to port on our own. We need to discover what is behind this talk of purification before they can execute their plan. We should go see this Demetrius after all. What he will tell us may help us understand. What do you want from me, my son? Sir de Sardé, emissary of the congregation. Ah! The congregation still has the uncanny gift of surprising us. I am Bishop Domitius. I represent the Ordo Luminous on the island. What can I do for you? I believe you have a few problems with the Noughts who reside in the port. 
We have problems with all matter of heretics, my son. And of course, the pagan noughts would be among them. They are very secretive and have all sorts of strange rituals that they keep to themselves under cloak of mystery. The sorcery they employ to guide their ships is drawn from nature, just like the sorcery used by the natives. And to top it all off, and this is where it stings, we suspect them to be at the origin of the Malachor. Whatever do you mean? How? Have you ever once crossed paths with a nought suffering from the Blood Plague? Why are they spared? The only logical reason is that they are at its origin, calling upon various cursed rituals. It's as simple as day. I am certain that we will find clues of their rituals and their pagan idols in their stockhouses in the port. Uh... Very well. Let's just agree that these rumors need to be verified. Anything else? Good day, Desade. How can I help you? I met the representative of the Ordo Luminous, and he spoke of his fears concerning the Noughts. That hardly surprises me. That man is full of pride and arrogance, and sees evil wherever he gazes. And that bishop is not made of milk and kindness, but his questions are intriguing. He suspects you to be somehow responsible for the Malachor because you never fall prey to it. Responsible for the Malachor? <laughs> and how? Through your magic. Some sort of ritual. Do you use a magic very similar to that of the natives? I have nothing more to say about it. Those are merely the fantasies of a lunatic. More questions? Thanks. I've got everything I need. The commander will probably not tell us anything more about the Nort secrets. But the documents at the Harbor Master's office may teach us something new. If we can stay discreet.
This note speaks of a secret hangar. We should investigate it, even though it's sure to be well guarded. That way we'll know exactly what the Noughts are hiding from us. Greetings. How are you? I must go and buy some groceries. I am receiving some important guests tonight. Don't hesitate to have a rummage around. Goodbye. May the enlightened always keep you in his divine blessing. 